everyone, I'm Nora Cross New Job. Grandpa is fixing the van today. Ben and Reggie are helping him. When Kron comes out, he asks, What are you doing, Grandpa? How can I help? Can you make me a cup of tea, please? Asks Grandpa. Kron takes a cup of tea to Grandpa. Here you are, he says. But Kron drops the cup and tea goes in the engine. Lots of smoke comes the van comes from the van. Oh no, Reggie says. Sorry, says Clunk. He runs to the house. Ben and Reggie go and look for Clunk. They can't find him, but Reggie finds a letter from Clunk. She reads, reads it to Ben. Grandpa doesn't want my help, but I want to work. I want to get a job in town. Let's tell Grandpa, says Ben. In town, Clunk thinks what Things. What job can I do? Do I want to work in an office or maybe in a store? Then he sees a sign in a restaurant window. Job we want on new shelf. Fantastic, he says. I can work here. Grim Gordon, the chef, opens the door and says, Clunk, who are you? Grand Gordon asks. I'm Clunk, says the robot. I want wor to work here, please. Gordon isn't sure, but his restaurant is very busy today. Okay, he says. Then works in the restaurant too. She gives Clunk a tail chef's hat. Thank you, says Clunk. Clunk, cook this chicken, please. Says Gordon. Fast. That's easy, says Clunk. I can cook it very fast. But soon there's lots of smoke. Oh dear, says Dan. We want we don't want the firefighters to come here when he sees the chicken. Gordon is angry. You can't work here. Go. But Jan says, wait, maybe she can be a wait waiter. Fantastic, Clunk says, but what's a late waiter? Waiters carry plates of food to the tables, says Jan. How many plates can you carry? Clunk, two, three. Clunk puts out his arms. They get longer and longer. I can carry lots of plates, says Clunk. Wow, says Jan. At home, Ben and Rizzy take Clunk's letter to Grandpa. Is Clunk okay? Is Clunk okay? Asks Rizzy. I'm not sure, says Grandpa. He opens the van door. Let's go to town and find him. He says, come on, Ben and Rizzy. Grandpa drives to town. What's, what's that noisy? Asks Ben. Is it coming from the engine? It's getting louder. Roger looks out the window. The wheel, wheel, wheels aren't on the street, she says. We are flying. Oh dear, says Grandpa. We don't want to do that. In the restaurant, Clown is, is busy with his new job. Waiter, says a woman at one table. This is the wrong fruit. I want rice, no potatoes. Okay, says Clock, sorry. And I want fish, not pizza, says a man next to the window. Clunk doesn't move. Go to the kitchen and get my fish now, says the man. Be quiet, please, says Clunk. Eat your pizza. It's nice. He looks at the street outside. He listens. I can hear Grandpa's van, he says. Rosie and Ben are scared. What's wrong with with the van. Rizzy asks, I don't know, says Grandpa. I can't take it down. Maybe Kronk can hear us, says Ben. He opens a window and shouts, Kronk, help! Kronk is on the street now. I, I'm coming, he shouts. Kronk is fast. He puts his long arms on the Van. Then he pulls the van down to the street. Wait down, Clunk, says Grandpa. The children open the door. Thank you, Clunk, they say. Grandpa and the children go to the restaurant with Clunk. Gordon is very angry. 
You can't work here, he tells Kronk. That's okay, says Grandpa. Kronk isn't a waiter or a chef. I want him at home with me. Kronk's happy when he hears that. We can fix the van later, says Grandpa. Let's have some lunch. What's good here? asks Ben. The van, the man next to the window, says to Kronk, "You, you are right. The pizza is nice. Let's have pizza," says Grandpa. And I'd like a cup of tea, please. Bye bye.